PUTV presented by Pop Up the Volume. Scanning and merging multiple scans. Start new scan and set up your desired settings. Under depth camera preview, adjust proper the gain. Blue means the object surface is too dark, red means the object safrath is too bright. The perfect settings are when the object appear light gray in the preview. A little bit of red surface is all fine, it don't have to be exactly gray all the times, it depends also of your object surface and material it was made of. After you clicked on the play button and begin your first scan, watch the frame count, make sure it is not more than 300 to 360 per rotation. I am using dual axis turntable that allows me to scan the top and sides of the object at once. My personal dual axis turntable is controlled by a remote controller, so I can tilt it at the 39 degrees angle as desired. However, it does not have the perfect pivot while tilting, so I have to adjust the gain settings when the object get closer to mini. The scanning of the top object is done, time to fuse it. Use your desired settings, the lower values of the pitch point will give your higher resolution of the object. You don't always need to use the higher settings, it all depends of the object you are scanning. The point cloud is ready, time for meshing. I like to use the meshing function in Revo Scan, it cleans nicely the point cloud. I always use meshing value of 6 and denoizer at 3. Meshing is complete. Now export your mesh in desired format. Now we starting a new scanning session, flip your object and start new scan session. As before, the process is exactly the same. I am going to speed up the video now to save your precious time. The fusing and meshing is complete. Time for export our second part of the object. Now when our both scans are ready and saved, we will move to Revo Studio to finish the merging process. Open Revo Studio and load your first scan part of your object. I am converting now the mesh to point cloud. I am checking the point cloud for any loose points. I will also check for any overlap points. I am going to save the cleaned point cloud and load the next part to clean. I am opening now the second part of the object I scanned and will continue to clean it as before and remove all parts we don't want to be merged. I 
I am using here the lasso, to select the parts I don't want to be merged. Now I am going to clean the isolate points as before and checking for overlap points. You can save now your cleaned object. We going to move to the next step, what is merge them together. From the menu bar select alignment, and load the first part of the object that you cleaned before. Now you have the top and bottom of the scans, using the marker mode, we going to select the marking points on both object before clicking the merging button. Now we have enough of marking points selected. Now you can click the merging button and complete the merge. The scans are now merged and ready to be meshed and exported. But before meshing, I am checking for overlap points. The process can be time consuming, be patient. Now we are all ready for meshing. Use 5 to 6 value for your mesh. I am going now to decimate the mesh at 250k. The mesh is now ready for export. Thank you for watching and please subscribe. But before we go, here a little showcase of the final mesh.